going on YouTube, it's Ryan E. Tapple, and um, if you guys have ever been really annoyed with iTunes, um, just the fact with iTunes, you can only hook your phone up or your iPod or any iDevice into one iTunes account, and you can't really sync it anywhere else without restoring it. Um, um, I really hate that too, if you guys if you guys know what I mean. Um, and then there's the fact that how slow iTunes can be is just like every time it just automatically syncs your iPhone, it just, it just it's just like a it's just a it's a longer process than it should be. Um, but to solve this problem, there's a new tweak that just came out called Pwn to uh, Pwn Tunes, as you guys can see right there. Um, but the uh, it is uh, a whopping twelve ninety nine. But right now uh, it is on a free trial. I'm not sure how long the trial will last yet. Um, because I started using it yesterday, I mean, right now it's still working for me. Um, but basically, Pwn Tools, um, I'm going to read off uh, basically what it says uh, in the description. It says, hate iTunes, do you uh, do you love your iPhone, iPod, or iPad, but hate iTunes, Fr uh, frustrated with the iDevice syncing with only one iTunes library? Do you want to access your iTunes music from any PC? And uh, by the way, guys, I am sorry. This is not compatible with a, with a Mac yet. Um, I know. Uh, I know. When I was reading the blog, it said that they are working on um, making it Mac compatible. And it says made by the people who made iReal SMS. And it said um, here's the solution: Pwn Tools. And all it is basically easy. You just plug. You just plug in uh, USB, uh, via USB um, your iPhone or any other device into your PC. No software required. And when you download this tweak, uh, when you, when it allows you to re Spring, it'll basically tell you what you need to do and what files to put it into. So, um, you so you won't get anything in settings. You won't get any, get anything on your home screen extra. It's just a tweak that allows you just to um, put it, um, put everything into a folder. Um, so if you guys uh, have a Windows, you can continue on, and you can uh, I'll show you guys how to do this and how to work it. All right. So once you've plugged in your i device uh, through uh, via USB, mine is actually plugged in via uh, micro USB, just because that's just I have to do that because of my my phone is actually in a different case that re that requires that. Um, but basically, once you plug that in after you exit out iTunes, if you've had it set up to where iTunes automatically opens, um, basically uh, a, your your Windows PC will prompt you with a um, with something I'll say hey you just plugged in your iDevice it'll say your na the name of the iDevice for me it would say Ryan's iPhone but whatever it will say for you guys and it says hey do you want to open this uh, so you guys can so you can browse your music or browse your the, or you could just browse your, browse your pictures or whatever um, basically you just click yes and if that and if that um, doesn't pop up for you guys what you want to do is you want to open up your Windows Explorer not your Internet Explorer um, but I know this is it looks like I'm on a Mac but I'm really not because I actually have a Mac theme on um, but basically what you want to do is you want to click at the bottom bar, usually for, for me it's at the top, but at the bottom bar for Windows, you just want to click at that little Windows, uh, that little folder button that's just down there that usually people don't, it's just there because it, it's just there to annoy you. <laughs> um, but once you do that, you want to uh, you want to open up internal storage, uh, it'll, be, it'll look like that, just double click on that. And then basically, what ultimately, what this tweak a lot, uh, does is um, it basically adds another folder um, called My Music. And what that what My Music does is it redirects everything you put into there into the iTunes Music. Um, iTunes Music is basically everything you've uploaded um, through iTunes into your into your uh, iDevice. Um, so basically, all you have to do is open up My Music. I don't have anything in there yet, and sadly, I don't have any music that I don't have on my iPhone uh, right now, currently on my desktop. But um, I do have this just to show you guys what it looked like. You just uh, drag it from a folder or from your desktop and drag it in there. And it's going to give me an error saying I can't put it on my device just because it's already on there. Um, and once you do that, um, you can just unplug your device if you want to. And you can go into your iPod app and it will say, like, updating iTunes library or I or um, music library. And then once you do that, your music will be, all, or will be on there. It's as simple as that, you guys. Um, and it's really nice. It's really useful. It's uh, way more effective than the iTunes, um, in my opinion. I, I'm really surprised that iTunes hasn't done anything like that yet, just to make it more, um, more user friendly, in my opinion. So, uh, again, this is called Pwn Tools or Pwn Tools. It's called Pwn Tunes, and um, you can find this for about twelve uh, twelve ninety nine in a in a big boss repo. Um, but once you you can actually download it right now, and it will be a free trial. And I'm not really sure how long a free trial lasts yet, but um, there actually hasn't been, if you guys are wondering, there actually hasn't been any repos like XLIs or iHacks repo that has released it. The only the only um, repo that has released it yet is Big Boss, and of course they're going to charge you some money. Um, but I will let you guys know um, in, a, in, like, in an annotation if they have 
um, this one time if they have uh, released a source to download this for free just because I know tw I know nobody wants to sp uh, spend $12.99 um, on an app unless it makes you like Superman or something <laughs> but um uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, you guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to contact me, all my info is down below. Add me on, uh, add me on Facebook. Add me to Google Plus Circles. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and you can PM me, or um, I'll have my email down below. So, lastly, again, thank you guys for watching.